Ramesses II, Sunjata Keita, and Ptolemaic Cleopatra are the rulers of the Sahara in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Also known by the Greeks as Ozymandias, Ramesses II ruled Egypt for almost 70 years. Ramesses' agenda is Ma'at, which influences him to prefer sieves that clears and improves tiles in their empires. Ramesses' unique leader ability is Abu Simbel, which gives culture equal to 15% of the construction cost when finishing buildings and 30% when completing wonders. Build your empire along rivers to benefit from Egypt's Itiru ability, and focus building and improving industrial zones to earn extra culture and great engineers to further boost your culture output. While Ramesses II was the arrogance and might of the pharaoh made flesh, Sunjata Keita just can't wait to be king. Known as the Lion of Mali, Sunjata Keita faced early hardships both politically and physically. At age 18, he returned from exile to defeat the sorcerer king Sumaro Kante. His agenda is Lion of Mali, which influences him to prefer sieves that don't compete with him in tourism. Sunjata Keita's unique leader ability is Sogolon, which lowers the gold cost to recruit great people. The market building also gains two great writing slots, while I great works of writing receive extra gold team. and production. Focus on faith and gold to grow your empire, as Mali has a permanent penalty to production. Build Sagubas not only for their extra great work slots, but also for their discounts, which combine well with being the suzerain of Ingazargamu or running either the democracy or theology government. While Sunjata Keita began his rule from exile, exile is where Ptolemaic Cleopatra ended hers. Ptolemaic Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt during its final years as a puppet state of the Roman Republic. She was the target of the War of Actium, which created the Roman Empire after the annexation of Egypt. Her agenda is Basilike G, which influences her to prefer sieves with high food output. Ptolemaic Cleopatra's unique leader ability is the arrival of Hapi, which grants resources along floodplains extra food and culture, as well as extra appeal on floodplains. Use the extra food and appeal to create high occupancy neighborhoods to work your farms, then leverage the beauty of your empire to entice tourists for a culture victory. Either through power, perseverance, or produce, how will you rule the Sahara in Civilization VI?